No, so first of all, uh, let's clarify this. So I'm not out there, you know, trying to, you know, uh, you know, on a daily basis trying to date, you know. Right. I'm not always trying to, you know, push her and trying to look for the 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 the, the perfect woman or you know. I just it just it just happened that I, I went on Kendra this show, you know, trying to meet someone. But to answer your question, you know, from my previous experience, uh, the dating pool in America, right? My experience here, I feel like the 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 the, the vision that people have of relationship is really really it is not really true. People like a lot of women are not looking for a relationship. Uh, a partner of life. Most of women are out there looking for uh, uh, a sugar daddy or uh, someone who gonna who gonna come and save her. Yeah, a savior. They're looking for a savior. A lot of women out there looking for a savior. So you see women come on, you know, come on the show having some expectation that does not really make sense. Like they're looking for uh, uh, a guy who makes this amount of money, but they they forget, you know, uh, uh, you know how they, they did not take in consideration you know the quality of the woman you know mm. they did not you know i don't have anything against women who have kids but when a woman have you know one two three you know kids and she oh. wanted i feel like that's very delusional come on the show and say i want a man who make 100k or you know 200k because a man who make this amount of money is not out there looking for a woman with kids most men making this amount of money are out there looking for a younger girl you know who look great you know who are in shape beautiful like instagram model you know very beautiful women so right. i feel like people are not true to themselves you know when you, you 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 want something and you're looking for something you know you need to be true to yourself first you need to ask yourself okay what kind of person i'm looking for and then you you you, you identify the person you you're looking for you want to meet and then you you look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself yourself question what are my quality what am i bringing to the person's life what am i bringing to the table what value am i adding to the person's life you know if you answer those question you automatically know you know what kind of person you want to meet and what you can bring you know to, to, to that person but, but but when people come and they automatically mention money okay i feel like women the value man based on the income based on their social value i have nothing against you know a man's social value right there's nothing wrong against you know women wanting a man to be a provider that's natural but when you base your 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 your, your characteristic or the the your, your your vision of a man or the the perfect man or the ideal man based on the income it's gonna be difficult for you to meet someone who gonna really love you for who you are because if you have money and you you come because you want you you, you want that money or this comfort you know tomorrow he can go and seek for another you know woman who are, who is more beautiful and more attractive than you because he have the the finances to afford it i don't know if you get what i'm saying no, I, I, I completely understand. In fact, I speak about this very thing quite often on my show. Mm -hmm. um, now, where are you from originally? What? So uh, I'm from Benin, uh, West Africa. Okay, uh, yes. I, but, I, I know, I know where, where that is. So let me ask, how is, how is relationship viewed and how are um, men and women view towards getting into a relationship how is that different from america is the mindset different well you know what i'm not gonna lie but with the with this you know with the social media and you know the the all this world we're living in you know with social media have changed a lot of mindset in africa so you you if we if we talk of if we talk about african women like 20 years ago i'm talking about 20 years ago they have a different mentality you know 30 20 or 20 years back they have a different mentality they have a, a different education because then we didn't have no social media right so nowadays even back home 
a lot of you know african sisters you know the, the mindset has totally changed you know most of them they want to this they want to date men with money you know it's some is not only america but the the, the the difference is the the way women have been educated back home you know they, they grew up with some value with you know they have been educated you know in a you know in a family you know a, a father and the mother so they they have some value they have something that they can bring you know to a man i'm not saying that women here are not bringing something i'm not bringing anything to the table but what i'm saying is based on, on value in terms of value mindset is different but money is something you know i feel like every woman in the world are looking for a comfort you know a, a man with a, with a social situation very stable you know every woman want to be with a man that is socially important you know she want to feel important because her man is somebody important in the society so in terms of mindset the difference is that women in africa they they grow up with more value because the way they've been raised you know is different what do you mean by values go ahead and and explain uh the so, different type of in, 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 in bring. africa women we don't believe in uh i mean i grew up in africa right I, i've not, i've never heard of women say oh okay uh i make this amount of money i need a man and uh, i need a man to make this amount of money in able you know to be able to date me or uh, 50 50. i've never heard of women talking about 50 50. 50 50 is something you know uh, uh, that the american society has created in africa i don't i've never heard any woman say in my country said oh i want 50 50 or uh, that's that's the first part okay and second though we talk about the leadership who is the head of the of the of the relationship who is the leader in africa we believe we believe so much in the the leadership the man is the ha is the head of the household right he's the leader and his wife his spouse is not his uh, uh, maid but he's a assistant right his woman stand beside him not behind him right he stand beside him not behind him he assists him he you know she she take up the house she you know she she educate the children she support the man but it's not 50 50. african men we've been trained to provide 100 percent right. between american society and african society is that we are not about the 50 percent 50 percent this is what is messing up the dating pool because women think the value is because they're making money you know a man we, we we are not out there looking for uh a woman who make uh the most amount of money we are not look, like men we are not looking for it's not important for us what you make it as money what is important is the value the quality like the feminine quality who are you as a woman what can you bring to the table like yourself not the material yourself you know i'm not saying that you know an intelligent and educated woman is not good but the woman who is intelligent and smart you know definitely gonna help you right because she's smart she's intelligent she's gonna bring ideas say okay i think if you do this you know we can move you know from one to three right that's always good to have a smart and intelligent woman that's the idea every man want a woman who is smart who can help him with the vision but we are not out there looking for a woman okay oh i make 100k uh, uh like what, what what can you bring to my life you know your value is not attached to the money as a woman your value is not attached to the money it's attached to your personality your quality your femininity right what what, what do you represent as a woman